Good morning. I'd like to invite you to imagine. That means to pretend or make believe. Can you imagine being in a really crowded place? Maybe it's the beach. Maybe it's going to see the fireworks or the county fair or the local mall. Your mom and dad are grabbing hold of your hand tight and saying, we've really got to stay connected. Imagine that. Or imagine a different scene. You're in the car and you're driving out in the country and you go past a big farm field full of grapevines. Imagine that for a minute. Think about Jesus and his disciples. They walked from village to village and along the way, they saw a lot of grapevines. Imagine you're with them for a moment when Jesus stops by one of the grapevines to talk with them and teach them. Imagine when he says, God is the owner of this grapevine, this orchard, and this vineyard. Imagine, I am the vine, and you are the branches. Jesus said to the disciples. You've been shaped by the good news that I taught you. Stay connected to me in the same way that I live in you. Branches do not live alone. They must stay connected. And that's the only way they pro provide us with fruit. You can do nothing unless you are connected to me, Jesus said. Again, as he talked to the disciples, I am the vine and you are the branches. Like the branches on the vine, as long as you are connected to me, you will live and do loving things for others. If you stay connected to me, ask what you need and you will be given it. You love God when you are connected to me. You remember God when your life bears fruit and you are my followers. So today here, what do you think Jesus means when he says we are connected to him like branches to the vine? See, what of the loving things have you done today? And what loving things do you see other people do? And take action. What can you do to stay connected to Jesus?